So today we're going to be doing something very special, a little bit different. I know in a lot of these videos you hear from me personally how great it is to live here in Southwest Florida, Naples specifically, but today we're going to talk to some other people. We're going to talk to someone who just recently purchased here. We're going to talk to other people who are thinking of buying here, and then we're going to talk to some natives who have been here for a long time to get their perspectives. Because I've gotten comments recently where people have actually taken I guess my path, I guess you would call it, and they've moved from other parts of the country and other parts of the world, and they weren't so happy. I've even had someone say that they actually moved back to California because it was too hot here, it was too much traffic, too much bugs, so I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not for everyone, but today we're gonna hear from other people besides myself, because I am a little biased, because where I came from, this is like heaven. So we're gonna hear from them and see how it is to truly live down here in Naples, Florida. You're not gonna wanna miss it, guys, so stay tuned, and let's get started right now. What happens to a lot of people is that when they first come to Naples, they just see how different it is out here. The weather, the culture, the beauty, the cleanliness, everything. But what I'll tell you right now is whether you're into fishing or whether you're into just having a good old time outdoors, paddle boarding or canoeing or anything that you're into, Naples is going to be a place that you're going to fall in love with. So now we're headed out to Lake Park Diner. We're going to sit with Janet and Richard who just bought a condo here in Naples with me and we're going to see what their experience was like. What attracted you guys to come down to Naples and, and get a second home here? There's nothing like Naples. Nothing like Naples. <laughs> I love the shore, the okay. beach here. It's, I don't like heavy waves, I don't like a whole lot of wind, and the beach is calm. I'm a photographer, so I love to take the sunsets. Oh yeah and then walk over to Fifth Avenue and have a cappuccino. Yeah, so we hear a lot about the great things about Naples, but can you tell me some of the things that you're not crazy about, or is there anything that kind of sticks out to you? Well, it's become very crowded. The traffic in the winter can be overwhelming at times, but other than that, I still love the area. Do you recently purchased at Naples, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel you got a good deal? Do you feel the prices um, are still very elevated? What did you feel about your purchase? I can say that I think we got a great deal. You always seem to send me the product the fastest. So I was able to jump on this particular yeah. one. And because of you yeah. is why we got the place. What are the next plans for you guys now that you have your place? Exactly what I'm looking, doing. Look, yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. Looking, just relaxing. Well, you know, we'd go back to the gym and hit some golf balls. And I love to cook, mm -hmm. so we'll probably do that. Enjoy our little atrium and go down by the pool there. If you want to go to Tiger Tail, which is on Marco Island, it's only a half hour drive, right? Yeah. You're only 20 minutes to Fifth Avenue, so like you really, there's so much to see there with the artwork. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. You can spend an afternoon just going from one gallery to the next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the food is here. <laughs> look at that. That one's here. Oh, look yeah, at that amazing you. food. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Janet, Richard. Appreciate you guys more than you could ever imagine. And I'm sure the people watching at home are going to appreciate this information as well. Thanks, thank guys. you. And good luck yeah. to everyone else, too. Cheers. Mm. So I'm here at one of the coolest places in all of Naples. It just opened up. It's called Food and Thought Part 2. I'm going to take you guys to Part 1 another time. But today I'm going to be meeting some clients here. We're going to have lunch and we're going to discuss what it feels like to become a Canadian and moving down here to Naples. So what are you guys doing down in Naples? So we're, we live in Vancouver. Um, uh, we're pretty active, but it rains a lot in Vancouver. So we're always thinking about moving to the U.S. And we were thinking about where in the U.S. to move to. Florida always came up because... Yeah. Some of our business, the properties, uh, the assets we acquire are in Florida as well. We love the, uh, you know, the the, the business that exists here in uh, in Florida. I mean, Florida, the state alone has more international airports than the whole country of Canada. Yeah. It has a bigger economy than the whole country of Canada. Yeah. Now the question was, where in Florida? Miami was a little too, you know, party and too much for our tasting. Yeah, yeah. for for our taste and uh, yeah. So we explored and I mean Naples. Um, uh, it was a place that kind of... Uh, it was on our with list us. of places to visit. And when we came here, it was a little bit later on in the day. We went down to the beach and I fell in love. Yeah. I fell in love with the vibe, with the feeling that I got, the energy. Even so much so that I actually teared up when we, when we first went down to the beach. So I was like, you know what, let's check it out for a few days. We ended up extending our stay because we loved it so much and we wanted to explore more. And then we were watching your videos and we're like, hey, we're going to meet this man in person and yes. really, really pick his brain on 
a couple different items that we really need your help with and your assistance with. So what should uh, a Canadian know or what should they look out for? Well, well, the first thing is basically their uh, their job situation. If they if they have a job, that's that's very you know it yeah. comes is paramount. The other thing is as far as purchasing a home, like we're in the process of doing that with you yourself, is uh, how to go about getting a mortgage. So uh, that's something else that we're working. So Canadians should should be aware that they need to either get a mortgage from a Canadian bank for a property here, or they need to get it from a U.S. bank, which they might need to have some U.S. income. Um, also, the heat. Some people. Don't love the heat so much. We love the heat. So. It's not hot enough, and people are like, "Oh, don't go to don't go to Florida in the summertime." And yeah. I'm thinking, is this is this all they got here? Is yeah. this you know the heat? We love it. We yeah. love it. We're this Absolutely. morning. We're up early, going for a jog. We went for a swim in the ocean. Go for a jog, swim yeah. in the ocean. Yeah, went to the we gym. Seen dolphins. You know, people were yeah. fishing right off the pier. Yes. It was just. It yes. was just Honestly, so peaceful. The environment here is so peaceful. Well, again, watching your videos and watching some other videos, we know that the hurricanes do take place here in, in Florida and around this neighborhood, Naples, is that we do have an option to go back to Canada if, uh, if, there, if there is some massive hurricanes coming. But it, but it depends on the person, depends really, right? Depends what you, it depends yeah. what your perfect day looks like. Yeah. Our, our perfect yeah. day was really a day that we could... Uh, you know, I snap a finger, go outside, go and swim in the ocean, go for a jog, jump on our road bikes, jump, jump on our cruiser bikes. Yeah. We didn't have that option in Vancouver for many months out of the year. Yeah. So, it's business you know. friendly, it's landlord friendly. We're, we're investors, so yeah. we're excited to be right in, the, right in the middle of everything. What's the real estate market like here? Um, it's, it's, I mean, great. I mean, the, with the options that you provided to us, yeah. um, it was yeah. one of your videos and you discussed, uh, a creative way for financing and that's what really, uh, what excited me, intrigued me. So that's why we're here. Any last recommendations? We manage CPI Capital. CPI is a real estate private equity firm that is mandated to acquire multifamily institutional assets. Our investors are 100% passive, so they still get their hands on the best real estate out there, but they just kind of sit back and collect their monthly monthly paycheck while we manage all the heavy lifting. Now we're going to hang out with Aisha, who runs The Factory, which is an outdoor gym at Paradise Cove. She's been a native here in Naples all her life. I love Naples. I love being able to just head straight down to the beach. It's about a 15 minute drive from my house and um, just going out on the boat on the weekends, the heat, the nature around here. I just believe it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was like a fishing village if you live close to the beach and then if you got out towards this way, which is more East Naples, it was all woods. Uh, a lot of farm fields, watermelon fields, orange trees, everything like that. A lot of old history that is being torn down, and I don't think that that's a great thing. I think that people still need to know the history of Naples and what was here before everybody moved. I think being able to go out and just have a parking spot at the beach without being so crowded or going out into the woods and being able to trail ride on four wheelers and just getting a fishing pole and going out to the fishing pier and fishing. Um, now that's a huge problem for people because they don't like the fact that natives, locals, whatever you want to call us, are out there fishing on a Sunday and people are trying to enjoy the walk down the pier. It is an, it's literally Naples fishing pier for a reason. The current development that's happening around here, I believe that it's too much. Our infrastructure isn't going to be able to hold up to it. Our roads can't handle all the vehicles, all the traveling around with people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they need to definitely widen them, repave them, because I have noticed that there's more potholes now. <laughs> I mean, it's great to have more stores in town so you're not traveling. I grew up on the Southeast Trail, so I would have to go up to North Naples if I wanted to go to the mall or get something up there, uh, movies too. And it's hard to travel to work at the, like at, even at 8 a.m. because there's so many people out on the road. You know, I rent a one bedroom apartment that's 1600 right now. Um, it will go up to 20 or 2000, I'm sorry, 2000. Um, from in like three months and that's the cheapest I mean there's other places that are renting for 2200 a month mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely unbelievable yeah. um, it's very hard when there's certain people that are only making minimum wage they have to find places that 
our, our homes that are further away, about an hour, hour and a half away, and then travel to work. But who's going to want to do that? So they're going to find a job that's closer to their house instead of driving that, especially with gas prices right now. That's insane. Um, so we're losing a lot of employees that are in this area due to those reasons. Um, I mean, just have fun, enjoy yourselves, but also learn the history of Naples while you live here. Respect people's views, respect people's politics, but believe in your own politics. Um, just try to coexist with one another. That's all you can really do. There's a crab living in there. Let me see. Now we're going to talk to two young teenagers who we found fishing at the pier to hear what it's like to be a kid in Naples. Yeah, we're catching some bait. We're going to go fishing later at night down the pier and stuff. Yeah, it's really peaceful. A lot of people to hang out with and stuff. A lot of fun places like the fair, beach, their houses, stuff like that. It's kind of fun, you know. There's, there's a lot of kids, you know, teenagers, but there's a lot of old people here. And I, what I don't like about Naples, basically... There's no snow in December and stuff. Yeah, it's really, really hot. Like uh, humid too. After it rains, it's like you come outside and it literally feels like you're in like a. <laughs> you're in an oven, bro. Right? Yeah, it's it like feels that. like you're like in a steam room, like all foggy and just gross. It's not. It's not even. It's, I don't like it. Now we're gonna hear from Coach Haas and his wife Tony, who are moving down here from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Why Naples? For all the years that we've been coming to Naples, we absolutely love the food, the people, the beaches. Coming from larger city areas, we find that we need to take it down a little bit and just kick back and relax and not always feel like we're in a rush. So, From Naples through Bonita and beyond, the sunsets here on the southwest side are just, they're spectacular. It's, it's God's creation. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I like it hot. I like it hot year-round. I don't like to be cold, hence one of the reasons why I'm coming to Naples. One thing about Naples I don't like, I don't know. I'm still trying. Every time I get off the plane, I say, all right, I'm going to find something that I don't like, and it's been very difficult so far. The people are really amazing. Uh, everyone is so friendly. You can work with me in person. You can also find me online. Uh, the best way to do that is through sportsrehabfla.com. So you heard it yourself here guys, it's not just me, I'm not the only crazy person that thinks that Naples is absolutely paradise. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to learn more about how it would be to live down here or you want to see what the real estate looks like, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check out some of the homes that are available in Southwest Florida. If you guys are thinking about moving down here, consider using our team. We have agents just about everywhere in Florida. If you guys are interested in watching more videos about lifestyle down here in Naples, just about everything that's cool. Go ahead and use one of the links over here. See you guys over there in just a few seconds. Say goodbye, baby. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I will see you next time.